Hello, Diarya. Welcome back to another video. My name is Vignesh, and in this video, we're going to be talking about one of the most important concepts of inequality, which is also one of the most frequently tested questions on the GRE. So let's get started. The question is: For what values of x is x square greater than x? So I would suggest you to take a pause here, pause this video for 30 seconds, think about it, and sort of try to solve this if possible, and then you can resume your video from here. So let's get started. So what values of x is x square greater than x? Now what we can do is we can simplify this by getting all the variables on one side of the inequality side, right? So we can write this as x square minus x is greater than zero. Taking x common, we can say x times x minus one is greater than zero. Now you can think of it like this: when is the product of two terms positive? For example. You can consider this value as a and this value as b only. So when is a times b positive? Now this is only positive when a and b both have same sign, correct? For example, if a is positive, then b has to be positive because the product of two positive positive numbers is positive. Similarly, if a is negative, then b also has to be negative because the product of two negative numbers is also positive. So let us simplify this. Let's make two columns, and let's consider both the scenarios. On the left, let us say that A is positive, and if A is positive, then B has to be positive. Similarly, on the right, let's take A as negative, so B will also be negative. Now, what do we mean when A is positive and B is positive? Here, the value of A is x, and B is x minus one. So we can write this as x is greater than zero, and x minus one is also greater than zero. On the right, we can write x is less than zero and x minus one is also less than. Now we can simplify both the sides. That is, we can write x is greater than zero and x is greater than one. On the right, this will be x is less than zero and x is less than one. Now, when we say x is greater than zero and x is greater than one, the common shaded region becomes x is greater than one, right? So this can be simplified. As x is greater than one. Similarly, when we say x is less than zero and x is less than one, this can be written as a single expression as x is less than zero, because that becomes the common shaded part. Correct? So yes, these are the range of values of x when we say x square is greater than x. That is, either x is greater than one or x is less than zero. All right. Now to verify this, if this is correct or not, we can take a value that lies between zero and one. For example, zero point five. Now, when x is equal to zero point five, the square of zero point five, correct? It actually becomes less than zero point five because zero point two five is actually less than zero point five. So yes, we can conclude that x square is greater than x only when x is greater than one or x is less than zero. Now it will be true for x is less than zero because the square of a negative number will become positive, and which will be greater than the negative value. Correct? So on the GRE exam, you don't need to solve this entirely and check for what values of x is this true. What you can do is, since this is one of the most frequently tested concepts, you can remember this that x square is greater than x when x is greater than one or when x is less than zero. So yes, that was it from my side for this particular video. If you have any questions related to the GRE exam or this question, then please let me know in the comment box below, and I'll be happy to help you. See you with a new video soon. Thank you.